Hello everyone. Team Miracle Managers presents to you a minor interruption presented by the table of contents which includes the introduction, managerial concepts, insight, meet the team, plot, character bios, target market, episodes and milestones, team's reflections, recommendations, a thank you, and references. So the introduction of our TV show is to show that viewers in management in the co real corporate world is actually a sophisticated hierarchy and there are choices made by management and managers with keen insight after good thought from different stakeholders. And our TV show is unique because it portrays real life scenarios and as a result shows its actions through the forms of its characters. The objective of the TV show is to show the audience that a good manager leads a good team to victory no matter what hurdles are faced. Some of the managerial concepts applied in our TV show are classical decision making, organizational change and design, planning and strategic management, managing diverse human resources and organizational change, and developmental innovation. So we want to show viewers that by watching our show, they'll gain knowledge in terms of specific managerial mentality. In the following episodes, people representing various stakeholders engage in conflict through these situations and viewers will pick up on managerial concepts to make themselves better managers for the future. So meet the team, Miracle Managers. So this is Janet. She's a senior studying business management at USF St. Pete. And this is Kristen Jofrida, and she's uh, an accounting finance major at USF St. Pete. This is Shataria Clarkson. She's a business management major at USF and this is Jessica Sorensen, and she's a business management major at USF St. Pete. Alexander Waller, a health sciences major at USF Tampa. And I am Jay, a business analytics major and information systems major at USF Tampa. So the more plot of SL Marketing is starts off like this. Kevin is the chairman of SO Marketing, headquartered in St. Pete, Florida, and he's confused with the direction of the corporation and has Sarah, the director of the sales administration, perform all the busy and stressful tasks. Sarah's somewhat crooked in nature as she portrays constant signs of unethical behavior through her wrongdoings. At times, Sarah assigns married some tasks and the sale and Mary is the sales associate of SO Marketing. Mary's lazy and gets her tasks done by constantly asking Mark, the new entry level employee in the corporation. And each episode revolves on an ethical dilemma and a plot twist taken by one of the main leads of the show. Tune into SO Marketing to learn more. So this is the main cast, and this is Kevin. He's the owner of SO Marketing. He is known to be ebullient, rational, a charismatic leader, empathetic, efficient, formal, has a global mindset, ethnocentric, integral stakeholder, and innovator. So Kevin is a great man with a great vision, but he's just confused with the direction of the corporation at times and has trouble following up with the direction and therefore hires uh, three managers in the process. The first director is Sarah, and she's in charge of the sales administration. And some characters, 
this is Sarah, and she's uh, the director of sales administration. And some of the characteristics that describe her are devil's advocate, leader, dual career couple, informal, gatekeeper, ethnocentric, independent, social loafer, organizer, organizer, and immoral. And most throughout the time frame of the show, she has an affair with one of the other coordinates in the company and you'll find out about this through our show and this is mary she is a sales associate at sl marketing and she's known to be empathetic efficient formal gatekeeper global mindset tactical motivated liaison social selective and a stakeholder and this is mark he's a He's also the new sales associate of SO Marketing. He's a recent college graduate. He's efficient, formal. He has a, he's part of a dual career couple. He's integral, interdependent, tactical, motivated, and social. So the target market for our show is directed towards individuals between the ages of 13 and 39. This age group is targeted just because the content of the show applies to students and adults as they progress and transition into the workforce. The rudimentary focus of the show is to emphasize the presence of unethical practices in the management world, and not all corporations practice unethical practices. This show is just portraying a real-life scenario of a corporation that does perform unethical practices. The show will be presented through a span of eight episodes. Each episode, some employee will run into an ethical dilemma and take a decision. The decision will have adverse effects and lead towards a plot twist. And this is shown through the employment of Sarah and Mary, and the role of Kevin will provide comic relief through the utilization of irony and each episode will have a concept or practice related that relates to various groups of audience. So in episode one, Mary sees two coworkers acting inappropriately and doesn't know how to approach the situation. And she's torn between an ethical decision making through morals and she doesn't know what, what the right thing to do is. And the episode will demonstrate the employee's and in terms of classical decision making as Mary finds a creative way to resolve the work conflict. And to learn to learn more, do watch our episode and below is the episode one link. And in episode two, Kevin is working on expanding the firm's organizational structure. And this episode will demonstrate or demonstrate how Kevin sees potential for growth and how they focus on planning and strategic management to begin promoting like the original team towards expansion and to learn and watch more the episode 2 link is below so do look at that and in episode 3 uh the company needs to differentiate itself from its competitors and the crew has trouble with proper planning and strategic management in the process. So Mark brings up the situation to his boss as Kevin knows that it's truly a potential problem and he wants to be a successful manager. So he wants to keep the company up, up and running as usual. And there are environmental factors that play out as a result and these factors can ne negatively affect the strategy of the company and in the process there is internal conflict between the members of SO marketing and to learn more do watch episode three uh planning and strategic management so in episode four there's increasing morale and involvement from employees which are hard tasks for managers the change of technology is a huge portion of organizational change, and as a result, uh, characters within this episode were able to approach uh,
So the change of technology definitely has some influence over the management and SO marketing. And to learn more, tune in to episode four, Organizational Change and Innovation. And in episode five, uh, the crew has trouble with leadership as Mark struggles to cooperate and work with a team full of women. Um, the goals and uh, necessities of Sarah and Mary conflict with Mark's and to learn more about what they are, tune in to the link of the episode below. And in episode six, um, SL Marketing has uh, encountered trouble with individual behavior as Sarah and James's relationship further develops. Uh, it threatens their position in the office, and Mary continues to make workplace decisions based on feelings about Mark. So what will Mark be loyal to is uncertain, and to learn more, watch our episode on that. And here's our episode seven breakdown, which is a conclusion. And Throughout this episode, uh, communication and negotiation takes place, and there's uh, so business is slow at SO Marketing, and Kevin decides to advertise his company. So, what would have what will be the fate of SO Marketing? Will will it pick up through advertisement, or would it be the end? Tune in to the episode to watch more. And here are our re reflections. Uh, here is Alex's reflection, Janet's, Jay's, Jessica's, Kirsten's, Shataria. And we have some recommendations for future students. And we want students to meet more often as uh, the sem as it would make strategizing easier and it would also make communication easier as a result. And we would like to thank P Professor Diazio and Jessica for giving us proper feedback on each assignment with a detailed explanation. We learned a lot this semester and we'll take the enlightenment into our future careers. Thank you. And here are our references.